bike touring in Sweden and wild camping for 50 days in a row. All water and electricity I will take from the nature. Today I will go to a place near Tennes. And uh, this is the way I will take. wonderful with air blowing it was uh, intense going out of there because the sun started to shine and I got the raincoat that well, is black but I got really hot and then all the gnats and the mosquitoes came and I was fixing and I was sweating a lot and they were coming more and more and uh, everything uh, you, you can't stay at one place you need to go go away and then come back and start again. Härjedalens kommun en härjedal jämte Jämtlands län I like this Yes, I do. The trees here in the more north, uh, because it's colder, they grow slower and that make it a lot stronger and better. They just turn up all of a sudden and they are everywhere. In this in these areas I could um, make a camp and it would be a really good camp whenever I whenever I want to stop. <laughs> it's a camping paradise. And it is so good to have uh, not so hot weather cloudy still quite hot it's 22 degrees celsius these hills Powerful. The trees are like bushes over here. Uphill again. I got the road of myself. That's luxury for a Stockholmer. Another little lake. Bushes. Bushes. Reindeers. Man. I just 
the first time I just watch and wow and so I don't think about oh when is this <laughs> I'm so tired or when when do I reach my goal here is just what oh there oh look there oh a reindeer oh yesterday a fox I wonder the degree of the, of that uphill. Yeah. Now I'm off the big road. And a good sign already. Road there, yeah. You remember I said no more Lambayak roads? I made an exception here because I'm gonna get this to fly around in tomorrow morning in the sunrise. Man, it's perfect. Oof. The moment uh, I put up the last piece of the tent, it starts to rain. Thank you very much that I had time to put up my tent. Thank you. Ah. Right. That's why if you, if you cook coffee close to you, it has to be um, not too close because if, you, if, if the water fell, it should not reach you and always have these things on the ground. Okay, the clock is 3.15 and it's time to shoot the sunrise and I don't think it's uh, so, so, uh, let's see. Yeah, this could be something. Just need to wait uh, some some minutes to get some more light I'm sitting here and waiting I want the mist to get more and it's getting more but the hard thing is that you don't know when it's turning and get less and less and quite fast it can just disappear. I waited a bit too long. Now the mist is getting away, so I need to be fast. Let's go.
it's quite annoying because I don't get the same feeling and the same bigness in, on the camera with the drone. This uh, mighty mist mountain forest is so much cooler in the reality. Look at them. I try, but I can't. Mm. Yeah, the sun comes out. You see this strong light? Let's catch it and make it into power. Shining fresh water. Filtering water for the bike water so I can drink fast because this water filter you have to suck hard to get a bit of water. Oh, I missed to film it, but there were two swans uh, fighting with uh, two swans. Never seen that before. <laughs> bye bye, beautiful place. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. There will be many more videos in the future.